laughing in the pants. Um, for my toes are yeah. missing. Yeah. You have to clean your toes so there's no plants in them? Yeah. That's a good idea. But you don't have no plants. Good. Good. Well, your pants are way up here. Yes, they are. You people might have noticed that I'm ignoring you because I'm washing feet. Some of my favorite feet. My oldest grandson. Kate and Daniel Davis. Kate and Daniel Davis? That's you. That's you. And Caden is getting his feet washed, not because they're dirty, but because I'm washing his feet. And I'm doing so just to lead into the story in the scriptures of Jesus in Ho on Holy Week as he, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, is having a meal before the Passover meal. They're getting ready for all the things. He's up in the room and they're having having some food and such. Having some food? Yes, they were having food. And, Jesus they, were, and was, they were eating. And Jesus was eating with the disciples. And then they were and they needed, food. And then they had good food. And they had grapes and everything. Grapes. But then Jesus got down on the ground and he got a towel and, and a bucket of water. water. And he, he washed the feet of all those other people because their feet were all dirty. Just like I'm doing with you. Now, can you take your feet out? And I'm going to dry them. And then you can go by mommy. Okay. okay. And thank you, Caden, for being a good helper. Okay, go by mommy. Of course, I'll hang it. It's even not the same. Thank you very much. You're welcome. John chapter 17. Hello, by the way. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that the hour had come to depart out of this world to his Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And during the supper, when the devil had already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray Jesus, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going back to God. So, so we're, we're seeing now that they're getting ready for the Passover. We're getting ready. Jesus knows that Judas has already made some plans and Satan's involved. And Jesus knows, again, he, he, he's, he knows he's God. There are some that say he never became God until later, but he knows he's God. And think about this. God, in human flesh, gets down on the ground. He gets, he gets a towel, wraps around his waist. It says, and he laid out his outer garment, taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples. One by one, going down around the table, around the room and wiped the towel that he had wrapped around himself. King of kings, Lord of lords, God, Savior. They called him rabbi. They knew who he was, kind of, but they were still kind of confused. But he, as one of his last handful of acts before he dies, washes the feet of his inner circle. Strange. And he goes on dealing with Simon, of course, Simon Peter. Simon Peter said, Lord, do you wash my feet? No, indignant, actually. Jesus answered, what I am doing, you don't understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter said, you shall never wash my feet, never. But Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you will have no share with me. If I don't wash you, Simon, then we're disconnected. So now he goes from one extreme to the other. You can't wash my feet. Okay, Lord, not just my feet, but wash everything. My hands, my head, all works. 
Jesus said, no, it's fine. One who was bathed does not need everything washed except his feet, because again, they had dirt roads and they wore sandals. So when they go from place to place to place to place, their feet get, yes, dirty. And so washing feet was a regular occurrence. It was a, it was a courtesy thing. If there were servants in the house, you came to somebody's house, they would wash your feet. In these COVID-19 days, somebody comes to your house, you spray them down with Lysol, and then tell them to leave. But here they just washed their feet and said, come on in. He knew that there was going to be one betraying him, but he said, all of you are clean except one. He knew that Judas had gone over to the other side. And so he washes their feet. And he says to them, if then your Lord and teacher has washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. He's not saying right that minute. Okay, I've washed all their feet. You're all clean. Now wash each other's feet. He's not saying do it right now. But he's teaching them, and he uses a word here in a little bit, to be servants. A servant is not greater than the master. But the master, Jesus, got down to wash their feet. And he is the greater one, the greatest one. And so he's setting the example for them and encouraging us as Christians, not just for pastors. Some say he's just talking to, his, to the future pastors, but to all Christians, that we are to be servants, willing to humble ourselves, to wash somebody else's feet. You see, well, that sounds disgusting. And who would let me wash their feet anyway? But the point is clear, even if the action is kind of strange. Be humble. Be willing to do things that you might not otherwise do for the sake of of somebody else. We're seeing a lot of that right now in the nation, aren't we? With, with the, the caregivers and first responders and so on. Even those working in the stores. Standing there, taking our money, hearing our complaints, restocking the shelves. Yes, I know, not enough, but they're restocking the shelves. And yeah, I know they're getting paid. But they're doing it also so that the rest of us can be safer and healthier. It's a strange world right now, this COVID-19 world. And I'm not sure what differences we will have when we come out of this on the other side, but we'll have been changed as a, as a people in varying ways, I think. But Along the way, we need to continue, I believe, to follow the example of Christ, to be servants, to be humble as Christians. Christians sometimes get a bad rap. We do that to ourselves. We elevate ourselves, say, oh, I'm better than you, and you are this, and you are that. And we don't want to help thus and so because it's their own fault. And on and on we play the games. Jesus would say, shush, humble, serve. And that is what we're called to do. So my, my prayer for you in this Holy Week is that you would continue to look for ways to serve, even if it's making masks and sending to others. Praying for folks is huge right now. Call, making a phone call, sending a letter, sending an email, encouraging somebody. Yes, you can serve, even confined to your own home. Pray with me. Gracious Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the washing, not just to the feet of the disciples, but the washing of our souls you've done for us. In our baptism, we are washed, we are marked, 
We are made holy, we are made clean by the servant, the servant King Jesus. We praise you for this gift. As we go into this holy weekend, we ask your blessings. As we do things differently this year, we will remember what it's all about. Monday, Thursday, the Feast of Holy Communion. Good Friday, the Cross of Christ. Easter Sunday, the empty tomb. Let that be foremost in our minds as we worship in varying ways, trusting your promise and rejoicing along the way. For the sake of Christ, we pray. Amen. Reminder, you probably have, you probably have heard that we're having church or that we're not having church and is back and forth because there have been some changes in the, in the county laws, regulations over this weekend. But as of 15 minutes ago, we just decided we are having worship at 930 on Easter Sunday morning in the church parking lot. We stay in our cars and it's going to be broadcast on, on FM radio into the parking lot. So join us at 930 in the church parking lot at 9600 7th Avenue in Frazee, uh, Frazee. Not Frazee, that's where I served 30 years ago as a DCE intern, but in Hesperia, California. I was thinking about Pastor Gunnard Haeckel a half an hour ago, so that's where Frazee came to mind. So God bless you, Gunnard, and God bless you people of Frazee, and we're going to worship in Hesperia, not Frazee. God bless you today. Amen.